and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I have a back to school organized slash clean with me. So I filmed this a few days before the kids went back to school and it's on two different days. So day one I had just gotten back home from grocery shopping and I bought the kids a bunch of after school snacks and like school snacks as well. So on that day you're going to see me putting away groceries and organizing all the snacks like in bins. I also organized all their like lunchbox accessories and then on day two I did some laundry, I cleaned all their new clothing, I picked out clothes for the first week and just did a few other things. So that is what today's video is going to be so let's get right into this organized slash clean with me. All right, you guys, so this was on day one that I was cleaning up and organizing for back to school. So this was a few days before the kids were going back to school. I had just went grocery shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpack everything, put everything away, and then I'm going to start organizing all the kids' after school snacks and just their lunch snacks as well. I was trying to use all the bins that I already have on hand because I really don't wanna go out and buy any new ones because eventually I do want to buy a bunch of matching ones, but all the ones I want are so expensive so i'm just going to use the ones i already have on hand and try my best to organize everything So I went ahead and really quickly washed the grapes and then I'm going to take all the stems off of the grapes. I just think it's easier like this, especially when the kids want to go ahead and grab a snack from the fridge. They don't have to sit there trying to take the grapes off of the vines. It's already pulled off. So I'm going to pull all the grapes off and then just put them in a little ceramic bowl. <laughs> So now I'm going to start organizing all the kids after school snacks and school snacks. So I'm going to try to put like all the chips in one bin and then another bin put like all the crackers and granola bars. I think I bought like three or four different types of granola bars and then some peanut butter crackers. And then in the last basket, I'll probably do like cereal and fruit snacks. I'm not sure. I'm just going to try to organize it as best as possible. And then every day after school, the kids can grab a snack from one of these bins. So now it is the following day and I'm going to go ahead and wash all the kids new clothing. So ever since they were babies, I feel like I've always washed all their new clothes before they wore it. They're five and six now. I'm not sure when I'm going to stop doing that, but I still do that. So I was going to go ahead and just rip off all the tags and stickers that were on all of their clothing and then organize all their socks. I bought maybe like one or two packs of new socks. So I wanted to go ahead and organize that as well and then toss everything in the wash. 
So now I'm writing the kids' names on all of their supplies and like their book bag, lunchbox, lunchbox accessories. I didn't write their name on every single thing just because a few things was like for the classroom. But if it was specifically for them, I went ahead and with a Sharpie just wrote down their name. Now it is time to move on to organizing all of the kids' lunchbox accessories. So I literally have like three bins full of things that I use for their lunches. So I have like sandwich cutters, I have like little accessories to put in the lunchbox to make it more fun, and then I have like just plastic wear and napkins, stuff like that. So this was a mess, so I want to go ahead and just clean it up and make it organized. You love me, you know that I feel that I want you, you want me, you feel that I know that I want you, you want me, you feel that I know that So I thought I would show you guys a really quick overview of everything. I need to get bigger bins and I also just need to get new bins in general because all of these are pretty much broken. But I just want to show you how I have everything set up. So in this first bin, I just have a bunch of like sandwich cutters. So I have like dinosaur, I have a puzzle piece, I have Mickey Mouse, I have like Halloween, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, I have a bunch of different um, sandwich cutters in there. And here is just like accessories that I keep for the kids. So I have some lunchbox notes. I have a ton of different like little picks. I have these that I store like little snacks in, cupcake liners, little holiday bags. So that's just like all the accessory stuff. And then over here, I just have napkins and then also some silverware. So if you guys are interested in seeing a back to school lunch, I will be doing one next week. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss out on my back to school lunch ideas. This floor, I wanna go. Father's direction, way too soon Do you feel like I'm decent so long with the young? Do you feel like I love so long? I don't wanna feel like this No more, no more, no more I don't wanna be like this No more, no more, no more You know that I feel that I love you You love me You know that I feel that I want you You want me
crazy for sitting here and picking out all of my daughter's outfits Monday through Friday for school and even her hair bows but I like to do this I like to pick out both my kids outfits for the entire week and if it needs to be ironed just go ahead and iron it and hang it up in their closet so that the morning of school I don't have to worry about picking out an outfit especially for my son He's very in to picking out his own clothes now and it takes him forever. So it's just always a struggle in the morning picking out clothes, especially with him. So I feel like if I get it out of the way and I already plan it, then that morning it'll just go a little more smoother. I usually don't go this extreme where I pick out the bows as well. I usually just pick out the outfits and then the morning of, I will just figure out what hair bow I'm gonna put in my daughter's hair. But since it is the first week of school, I decided to be a little extra and even pick out her hair bow. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys everything Monday through Friday for my daughter, what I picked out and what she'll be wearing. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you guys. All right, you guys, so this is the layout that I have for my daughter's Monday through Friday outfits for school. So I'm gonna start over here, Monday, her first day of school. I'm gonna put this army green 
dress on her. It's by Carter's and I figured it would look really cute for the first day of school. I'm going to put these white biker shorts underneath her dress and then I'm going to pair it with these um, shoes. She does have a pair of gold sandals I think would look so cute with this dress but she's always tripping and falling in them so I don't want her to trip at school so I'm going to put these on just to make it a little better for her to walk and then I will put these really cute hair clips. They're like gold stars with tassels so that'll be her Monday outfit. And then for Tuesday, I have this Carter's shirt that says Mommy's BFF with this pink and gold bow with just some jean distressed shorts and then her Nautica sneakers. For Wednesday, I have this Dubbo shirt from Target. And then I'm going to pair it with this really cute like Little Mermaid bow with these shorts. I believe I got from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx with her Converse. So that'll be Wednesday's outfit. Thursday, I have this Adventure Awaits shirt. I got this from Kohl's. Just gonna put it with some plain jean shorts and these rose gold um, glitter sneakers. And then I'll probably do like pigtails in her hair. I'll use this um, clips and her little hair ties. And then for Friday, I did switch out those um, jean jeggings for some white shorts. I just think that looks better. So this jean top with some white shorts and then I'll just put this headband in her hair. And then I'm not sure, I'll either put those rose gold shoes with it or her Converse. I'm not sure which um, shoes I will put on her, but that is all of her outfits for the entire week. So for my son's Monday through Friday outfits, this is what I chose. I need to find his other sneakers. He has another pair of shoes that will go really good with that outfit. I just have no clue where it is. But for Monday, I'm going to put this collared um, Tommy Hilfiger shirt on with those shorts. And then I'm just going to probably pair it with these shoes. I'm not sure. And then Tuesday, I will put on this polo shirt with some jean shorts and these sneakers as well. Wednesday, I have this dinosaur shirt that he picked out with these green shorts. I'll probably pair it with these really old gray Adidas. And then Thursday, this Calvin Klein shirt with some khaki shorts. And then I might put it with these sneakers, um, but I'm really going to look for his other shoes that I think will go better with this outfit. And then for this outfit, I'm not sure what shoes I'm going to put for it because I don't really have any shoes that really match really well with it. This is probably the best pair of tennis shoes that I can think of that will match for him. So we might just go with these shoes. I'm not sure, but that's the last outfit. So picking out Ryan's outfit was much quicker than Madison's, but it looks really messy on the bed. But I'm going to go ahead and separate everything that needs to be ironed and go ahead and start ironing all the kids' clothes. <laughs> So 
I like to iron and hang up all the kids clothing they are going to be wearing for that week for school. So I usually do this like on Sunday nights. I will iron and hang up all their clothes for Monday through Friday so that every day I already know what they are going to be wearing and I don't have to worry about ironing it if it needs to be ironed. And it just saves me a little bit of time in the morning and makes it a little less chaotic because Ryan takes forever when it comes to picking out his clothing. So I like doing this every Sunday night. So that is going to end my back to school organized slash clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys found some motivation from today's cleaning video. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.